Oh, who is the last person you slept with? Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 What's up you guys? It's your girl Amber back again with another video. And today I have a special guest by the name of Big Fella. Yay! Clap, 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 clap. Jesus. Welcome, Jesus. Big Fella. What's going on? My cousin's here too, but virtually. So, wait, is this vir this is virtual. So by the thumbnail and that title, you already see what we're about to be doing. We're about to be doing truth or drink. This is my boyfriend's best friend. So Damn. yeah. That was Tony. It's also Kane's birthday, so say happy birthday in the comments. Boop. So, first question. You can start it off. Ooh, you're making me nervous. Why are you? Why do people get on camera and get nervous? <laughs> no, you never know. Truth or dare you Oh, this is what we're drinking. We're drinking Bacar. Uh, if you're not 21 years and older, do not be drinking. 21 and older. Unless you live in Canada. Or. Mm. Where is it that you so, gotta be? You you can drink at sixteen. It's like what Switzerland, something like that. Switzerland. Some something like that. Something, something like that. But if you're in the United States, twenty one years and older. Boop. Okay, start with the first question. Oh, this is rum punch. Hmm. Uh, what is a what is a good question? I don't know. When was the last time you lied? Ooh. Okay, I'm twenty. I'm gonna call you back. Or put your phone on mute. Put your phone on mute to stay on the phone. Just put your phone on mute. Oh, I said your name. I'm, I just crop it out. I mean, crop it out. Anyways, okay. So when's the last time I lied? Or do my, my bad. My bad. It's true the drink. My bad. Oh, so I can like say it, or I can like drink. I can say like when's the last time I lied, or I can drink. Or you can drink. Um. The fact that I have to think about it, that means I lie a lot. <laughs> Don't ask about me. No. <laughs> the last time I lied. Just now because you don't wash out all your straws. <laughs> yes, I do. I really don't know. I'm, I'm just going to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know. I'm just going to drink. Okay. When? Oh. Who is the last person you slept with? Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, look, man. Um, Why are you scratching your head? Hey, look, cause you know this is on camera. I could have put you out on the market. You you didn't have to do all that. You could have been like nobody. I'm single. Uh, you told me yourself. Hey, look, man. Uh, I'm gonna take another decision. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's deep. Okay, your turn. Um. Man, I am so unprepared for this. Um, That's the fun of it. Hmm. We did not plan this video. It literally just happened five minutes ago. Yeah, like literally like five minutes ago. <laughs> um, shit, what's a good question? Tony, what's a good question? Thanks. Um, I don't know, shit. I'm kind of like all out of questions. I don't know. I might not even settle on questions. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I have a question. question. Yes. Why will you not get tested? I mean, not tested. Why will you not get um, the vaccine, the COVID vaccine? Ooh, I don't know. That's tough. Um, see, because I feel like yeah, talk about. See, with stuff like that, I'm always the type of person that's like, if I'm gonna do something like that, I need to know about it. I need to read about it. So, because I don't know too much about it already, that's already a, kind of a sign for me not to probably go get it. Mm -hmm. Um. And just the stuff you hear from, hear from other people. Um, so it's just like you're scared and then what you hear from other people? To an extent, yeah. But then it's like you go to McDonald's or you go to you go to Red Lobster a lot. Oh, yeah, Do you that's, know that's all the spot. ingredients in that cheddar biscuit? I'm pretty sure the vaccine is not in the biscuit. I know, but I'm just saying like you don't know what's in that and you still put it in your body. True, true. I'm, I'm the same way though. I really don't know. If yeah, I but if they it. call it a vaccine, then how are people getting fully vaccinated and still catching it? That's my thing. Like, <laughs> I thought, like, what's the definition of a vaccine? Let Let's look up the definition of a vaccine. Yeah, what is the definition of a vaccine? Because, hey Siri, what is the <laughs> definition of vaccination? 
vaccination means treatment with a vaccine to produce immunity against a disease, inoculation. Okay, so it doesn't really say that you can't. Like, it doesn't say mm -hmm. it's not going to stop nothing. It just says what it does. But if it does that, why is it? Ooh. See, this is where, like, science comes in. And I don't, I don't get all to that. I don't know. That was a good question. So, your turn. Who do you hate and why? Who do I hate? You can go ahead and take a drink on that one. No, I don't hate anyone. <laughs> I know I may seem like a mean person or whatever, but I don't hate. Any, like, hate is a really strong word, and you're not going to get to heaven with hating your heart. So, I really don't hate anyone. Hmm. Who do you hate? All right. I actually got a few people on my list. To be really? That you hate? You hate people? Yeah, look, there was this, was, there was this girl I was dating back in like... You hate her? Like, yeah. you know how strong I'll, I'll, tell, I'll, tell you what, I'll tell you what happened. This is like 2013. Let's hear it. And, um, dude, I had bought these brand new CP3s. I thought I was hot. <laughs> CP3 jersey. I thought I was that dude. And, um, yeah, I was talking to this girl. Everything was running smooth. And it's then um, she just disappeared. No phone call, no text, just nothing. Damn. And uh, popped up at her crib. She was with another nigga? Another dude was <gasps> there. It's a funny thing, she ended up having kids by this dude too. Really? Yeah, it's like how to. She was probably at the time I didn't know it, but she was pregnant. <gasps> at the time, she was pregnant at the time, and that's why she stopped talking to me. Wait, were you like sexually involved with her while she was pregnant? So you don't. Know, what okay, like, no, 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 no. Like I was, you know that can happen. You can like get pregnant with twins and have two different fathers. Yeah, I need a drink. <laughs> that can happen. You better not text me if you see this. Text him five 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 zero one two seven. Dang. Jay been up. Oh look! Wow! <laughs> wow. Hey, T, hey, if you see this, yo, you see, you see how she did, huh? Real friends. Mm. So, you don't know if you have a kid out here somewhere? Oh. <laughs> um. Let me let me say this. Let me say this. I, I I was young at the time, so I wasn't. How old, How many years ago was this? This was obviously this was before you know who. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know who was the first girl I actually like took seriously and actually had a real, real relationship with her, not just really? something, something, something sexual. Yeah, that was like the, the first real like relationship. That's I really why took it's heart. so strong. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah. Um, let me say that. Terrence is the first relationship I took strong, like strong. Yeah, like, like I was really like you know really like putting in the time and effort with her. Oh my gosh, should I do a story time on how I, Terrence and I got together? You know, that would be Tony would have to be in the video though. I right? have my book, my book planned out, my trip. That that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you planned everything. She's so serious about when we get married, we have to get her a honeymoon like she wants her own because she is the one that got us together. I'm, if you guys want to see that video of me and Tony like explaining Huh? How we how she got me with Terrence. Well, like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I got so, one, oh, I got one good for you. Check this out. What? what was the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Oh. Matter of fact, I got a good one. Look. Wait, no, let me think. The most embarrassing thing I've ever done. Lie to my dad and tell him I was in college when I was like working at Clear. Jeez. So one day. <laughs> Yo, what's up with you? I was at work. Hey, look, I don't, even, I don't even know this woman. I really don't even know this woman. I was at work, but I was telling my dad, like, he knew that I was working, but he thought I was only working on the weekends. Mm -hmm. But in actuality, I was working, like, every day. Like, I was getting to the paper, okay? Like, that. I think that's another thing that stopped me from, like, going to school and, like, really changed my mind. Like, I'm already not a school person. I don't like school. Mm -hmm. And so, me seeing that money, I'm like, what am I? I'm going to school to get a job. <laughs> I already got a job, you know? Right. So, but that's what job is. Just over broke. Always remember that. That's what J-O-B is. Don't try for a job. Strive for a career. So, anyway. I was working and he called. And you know, at the, I don't, you've been to the airport before, obviously. Yeah, yeah. You know how that, that lady, she keeps talking. Like, she don't stop. Right. So, yes, right. Yeah. So, I was in Terminal 3. And something had just, like, went down on the, on the, um, the mat. What is it called? The the runway where the planes are. Something had went on right there, 
one of them had crashed into like a cart or something so they had to shut it down so it was like a loud like speaker and he kept texting me and was like oh what class are you in i'm over here oh i'm in math and i'm across from um i don't know if you've been to west la there's like basically like the main building girl it was like a little main building and across it was like a little classroom building basically so i told him i was in that class but i could like see where the entrance is that he would come from mm -hmm. so i was telling him i was in this class and he was at the school so you was finessing him while i was, was finessing there. him i was at work yeah. on my break but texting him i told him i was taking a test that's i wasn't replying that's fucked up. This nigga was, that, you know, and he took a picture. Every time she didn't lie to me. Shut up. He took a picture and was like, "No one's in this class." I, I called like, "Hey, is TT there?" She like, "No." So then he called he me, and right I wasn't there. answering. I was like, "My phone's tripping," and he was like, "Where the hell are you?" <laughs> and that's when he found out. <sighs> wasn't not over eighteen, girl. Eighteen don't make you an adult. Yes, it do. No, that just means you go to jail now. Legally, it get like an adult. Can't drink it. Can't buy a pack of cigarettes you now. Can, oh, now it's 21. Remember when it was 18? When That's, you could buy, uh, what is it? Uh, scratchers and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. But that's uh, the most embarrassing thing that happened to me. Did you get cussed out? Girl, we're talking about everything. <laughs> Who do you think happened? Yeah. Well, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right never go ahead it's on you okay um oh go ahead and ask <laughs> go ahead <laughs> is that a child ha yeah that's her baby um have you ever thought about having intercourse with two sisters oh you know what I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. You're going to hell. Hey, look. That's so wrong. Look, I got. Hey, look, man. Every dog has his day. But like, realistically, how many opportunities are you gonna get? To oh, right. How many opportunities are you gonna have to smash two sisters? Why would you want that opportunity? Niggas are dogs. When I when I tell you, niggas are dogs. <laughs> Why so would you ever cool. want to smash two? They both came out the same hole. Yeah, yeah, I get you, but yeah. Would you do the mom too if you had a chance? And technically, their pussy bones are the exact same. I don't know if you know stuff like that is genetic. Hey, look. Okay. I ain't turning down nothing. Really? No, I'm just playing. No, no, no. Facts. If I, if I'm being honest, if I could, yeah. That's sick. Nah, I mean it's definitely. What if you end up marrying one of them? I mean, it's definitely on my bucket list though. But no, nah, I wouldn't. If I'm gonna, if I'm gonna smash two sisters, why would I marry one of them? Because what if you guys just become? No. I don't know. You never know what can happen. No. Because you don't take them serious. Because no. why would you let me? Right. See, nigga, this is the problem. My grandma used to always say, "Stop playing with your food." I'm oh fat now. Oh my god. Have you guys heard that song? Give you some, give you the respect that you earn. Some I can't remember who. Give Somebody in the video earn. in the song. Yeah, it's like I'm gonna give you the respect that you earn. Yeah, you make. I forget. I think it's Wale. It might be Wale, and he says, um, people say that a man's supposed to respect a woman, but I personally feel like a woman's supposed to give a man something to respect. Facts. Big facts. Yeah. <laughs> Big facts, right. right? Do you think that, like, a you think that a woman's supposed to give a man something to respect, facts, or do you think facts. you just respect a woman because she's a woman? Well, look, I feel like all women deserve a certain level of respect. A but, certain level of respect. What right, is the no, level? I mean, off the rip. I mean, Agreed. like, for example, you should already know with a woman, keep your hands to yourself. That, okay. That's not your woman. Um, you know what I'm saying? You probably shouldn't be calling her a b-word out of her name. You know, that's just a general respect. <clears throat> Niggas love to say um, this after they've done. No, it. no. Listen, listen, listen. That's just a general respect given to a woman. But if I meet a woman and I know that she's not, you know, up to par or she don't have the same self-respect as, as other women, we men, we pick up on that easy. And easy. that's when y'all be like, okay, she's the one I could just do whatever I want with. Nah, people only, yes. No, no. People only do what you allow them to do. If you present yeah. yourself like a woman who should be courted and loved accordingly, then that's how you get treated. But if you just, you know. That's sick. 
You just out there, you know what I'm saying? You just finna get out So there. why wouldn't you be like, no, nah, you're a woman. Let me treat you how you're supposed to be treated because clearly you out here thought boxing. Let me change your life. Why is that so hard to do? Because I am not gonna that pay, I am not gonna pay full price it. for something another man got for free. Cause think about it. If she's like that with you, how many dudes was she like that before? What if you could be the one to change her? Oh no no no, that's not my job. Well damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm just next in line. That's all. I'm just next in girl. I'm just next in line. I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it facts. You family, so I'm, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I ain't gonna play you. Said, I'm just next in line. I'm just next in line. Because remember, that's not a behavior of something you just. That's somebody's up daughter. Facts. But if she want to hand over the meats. That could be your daughter. No, it wouldn't be my daughter. I Why? Because I ain't got no kids. But I'm saying, shut up. You don't know that. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I, I know that. But I know my lash is coming off, y'all. Amber is so upfront and honest. That shit is crazy. Oh, okay. Let me ask you about that. Oh, yeah, okay, so, like, me and him, we like get into it, but like, not like really get into it because we're both Sagittarius. We're Sagittarii. Does that work? You can say that. We're Sagittarii. But he's a November Sagittarius. I'm a, I was about to say September, Jesus. I'm a December Sagittarius. So we are like emotional and we, we're crazy. But we're very blunt. Sometimes. Like I'm not blunt all the time. No, 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 no. That's a lie. You straight blunt. You're like Am I straight, blunt all the time? You're, you're a straight shooter. All the time. I'm not. All the time. Straight shooter. All the time. Never fails. Not even once. Not even once. There's some things I've held in before. No. Is that a bad thing? No, it's not. Does that make you not like me as your best friend's girlfriend? No, I feel like you being a straight shooter is definitely exactly what you should be. Think about how many people lie to every bit every day about their feelings and their emotions. Oh, like you. The world would be a better place. Like you. Well, I do it to protect the people. No, that's people. not. Pro that is when protected. will guys get it into their head that lying to a woman is not? protecting her feelings hey look jody said it best i lie to you because i care about your feelings um, and that's a fact women say they want the truth but just imagine if you told every woman in your life the truth they wouldn't be in your life <laughs> i'm saying every dude that but maybe that, she doesn't need that to be that's in gonna agree with that. i promise i promise they're gonna agree but with maybe that. she doesn't need to be in his life yeah but why would i tell you the truth i mean why would i tell you the truth and that's gonna take away what because I'm the bible says thou shall not lie yeah facts Niggas so, lie every day, B. Yeah, she, facts. Niggas lie every day, B. I mean, it happens. So because they do it every day, it makes it okay for you to do it every day? How many people have you lied to? <laughs> this is not about me. This is about oh, you. Okay. <laughs> I'm, just com I'm just confirming. I'm just confirming. That's I mean, all. okay. I get it. Lying is just the easiest thing to do. But what's the harm in telling the truth? Besides the fact that she might leave. Like, think about all the things I've been through with Terrence. He lied and I always found out I'm still here. Facts, but he didn't tell you because he probably he didn't want to hurt your feelings. You've been told some stuff like that would hurt you, would it not? It still hurt me. Yeah, but his intention was not to keep it from you to be deceitful. It was to keep what? it from you so that you didn't know, so that you wouldn't be hurt. But if you didn't do it, I wouldn't know, and I wouldn't have got hurt. Facts. That's true. Can't defend you on that one, T. Like. I love you though. What guy? Their thought process. No, but see, the fact that women want to be told the truth all the time. Is Do you want to be told the is, truth? It's unrealistic. Think about it. Or How? you want them to lie? Thank you. She put a thumbs up. She no. wants to be tell. What? If, what if? Some, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You, you, you was going there. Go no, I'm not going. I'm go gonna I'm gonna edit that out. What no. if someone you knew always told you the truth? I would respect that person because telling them the truth <clears throat> is giving that person the option. But see, with women, you can't give them all the options. You can't. Why? Because they'll do the one thing you don't want them to do. Leave. Exactly. What woman wants to know? But if you don't want her to leave, why do you do what you do? Why must I change my oh my God. God. <laughs> That's That is. Loki, this might be a conversation changer, but maybe we're not made to be monogamous. You ever think about that? Yes, we are. It's in the Bible. Mm. I don't know about that. It is in the Bible. What what scripture? I don't, don't know. I haven't read the Bible, so I don't know. But it's it's in the Bible somewhere. Maybe we're not made to be monogamous. You think we're made to be monogamous? Yeah, I'm feeling that drink now. Okay, that's the Stella talking. <laughs> Comment down below if you feel like you're made to be monogamous, or if you are. Cause I have a friend. Her name is. Maybe I shouldn't share her name. Girl, you know I love you. Um, she what up, is poly. 
I don't know the plural, poly something, where you like date multiple people or no, not multiple people. I may be saying this wrong. I don't mean to disrespect anybody. I just may be saying this wrong. No, the a threesome. Like it's a guy and it's two girls, and they're all in a relationship, but only with each other. Facts. So he's the only man. Yeah. It's like called, he has. I think it's called polygamy. Polygamy. That's what it is. So. I, I I can never do nothing like that. Not I don't even maybe it is because I'm jealous. Maybe it's because of the jealous. I don't know. I don't want to say cuz I'll be jealous, but that's just not my thing. But that that does that make me jealous because I don't want to be in a poly relationship? No. I mean, I feel like to each his own. You know what I'm saying? Right now that that's what you want to do. We would break up. Leave. Yes. You're not leaving. So TT told you that you're going to leave. Him. Yes. You're gonna leave. Would I would leave him. him. I would leave him. No, I don't believe 100%. that. 100%? I don't believe that. What would be like, my reason to stay? Because then you'd no, be you effectively would be effectively handing him over to someone else. That I don't think you would willingly give him up. If you love him like you say you do. I think you'd fight him on that before you just say, hey, we're not together now. Oh, well, yeah, we're going to fight. I'm not saying we ain't going to fight. But I'm I'm not going to be like, oh, he said that. Got to go. Like, we're going to have <laughs> well, a conversation yeah, about but, it. Yeah, but, but what, okay, what if he's hell bent on it? He's like, nah, Amber, this is what I want. That's I not like what I work. want in my future. Will it hurt me? Will I be sad? Of course. But so that's not what I want. So you're willing to give him up? Yes. Rather than just give him No, he's answer. willing to give me up. Instead of... But what if he tells you he wants to keep you? He just wants to add somebody else. No. No? Still, no. Still no? There's no... No. And see, she told me about that. She was like, um, I'm talking about my friend. And her little relationship. Let me stop. Let me, you know what? We've got that bad when we say little relationship. Because it's not a little hey, relationship. It sounds like you It's their it. relationship. In their relationship, it's two females and it's one guy. Or if she's still together, that's how it was. Yeah, y'all see this fade. Um, anyways. Shout out to my barber, though. The wavy barber. That's my man's. Um, anyway. So they're in that relationship and so two of them the girl and the guy not my friend but the girl and the guy they are a little bit closer than the my friend i think that's what she was saying something like that and i'm gonna take her name out of this because it's getting too personal um yeah they're a little bit closer than my friend and the guy so i feel like that's where like things can go wrong like you think so yeah because if two gets if two people get too attached that one's gonna feel left out and what if they be like man what are we in this relationship for i just want you then it's like you struggle oh. you you like strung someone on thinking it was gonna be something and now what if they don't feel like that what if they they start going to church and be like oh yeah, this is monogamy and this is what i want i don't well, look, want i don't know i don't know much about polygamy but look it up to, to my to my knowledge i think that each woman has a uh has a has a different relationship with the man right so i think that what do you mean like, like okay so like his relationship let's say for example using tt right mm -hmm. tt's relationship with you would be completely different from the relationship was separate no, not different actually separate between you you and him versus him and the other woman so you would still look at him as if he's your man but he would also be someone else's man as well no so because he's mine you made him but basically he'd be doing the same thing the he does for you he would do for another woman. Hell no. Yeah, so maybe I am jealous. I'm jealous. Maybe. No, because you're not going to do for me what you do for her because I'm top two and not number two. So there's no doing for me and doing for her. The only, per she's also the only she's second person in my too. life that he will do the same or more for is <laughs> our child. If we ever have a child. So that's it. It's not like you on lockdown, see? Pretty much. Because what? Give me a logical reason to have another woman if you already have one. Well, look, even uh, throughout life, I think we kind of we kind of learn that everybody's not going to do everything you want them to do. Um, you, you can't do everything with everybody. You know what I'm saying? So different, women, really have, good, guys. different women have different uses. Like, oh, my gosh. You stopped recording. I don't even know what's the last he said. So just say what you just said again. Mm. I was like, what's the difference? Why have... What's the purpose of having two girlfriends when you can have one? And then that's when you went on and you were saying that. Oh, well, maybe, well you know what I'm saying? Every, every, everybody doesn't have everything. No one's perfect. Right. So, we're, we're, so you can't have the best of both worlds. Like, I mean. You can if you're not looking to do the whole monogamy thing. Technically speaking, you can. So are, are you leaning towards. Polygamy? Yeah. No, not at all. Why? 
I don't know, it's just not my way. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, you know, you gotta know your way. But you're you defending you. the poly world. Well, no, I'm not defending it. I just, I'm trying to understand or just giving an understanding for how they may think. You know, I need to have someone on this uh, YouTube who's in a poly relationship. Yeah, that'd be dope as hell too. That'd be dope. Poly versus saying. monogamy. Right. I mean, but I need, I think there's I need, benefits on both sides of it though. What are the benefits of having two women? Oh, I did this with one woman and she's tired. So I'm going to go do it with the next one because yeah. I can. This, this is why I hit it with the knockout punch. Boom. How many times has TT asked you to cook for him and you've been tired and having one and didn't want to? This is going to be funny, but he doesn't ask me to cook. But if he did, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Uh, but it's like, it's like not that deep. You may not feel like washing his clothes today. You may uh, not. Okay, I'll wash them tomorrow. Oh, she can wash them today. Oh, <laughs> no. See how that works? No, because... Or look, think about it. You don't always want to mess with him. You probably don't always want to talk to him. You probably get irritated with him and don't want to see him sometimes. You ain't never fucking like that. Right, so maybe he go over there. With another woman? But I'm saying, if he's with that no, woman, you know that woman too. No. They, they feel differently. I'm just saying. It's, it's, you. I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm, I'm being real with you. I'm being real. Okay, how would you feel if you were with, you know who? Y'all yeah. was solid. Everything was good. Yeah. And she's like, man, you work too much. I don't see you enough. I'm about to get another boyfriend. Well, see, I feel like that's different than talking about politics. See how? Well, because it's different than talking about politics. No, I'm saying well, she gives the she, example you just gave. Is okay, quick. yeah, okay, not that example. I'm saying. But if she did tell me that, I. I look at her like she's I, fucking what I, crazy. What I look like? Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. What the fuck is that? <laughs> right, like what? What am what, what doing with that? What am do with that? Exactly, like I don't. I'm do with that. And this is not to bash anyone who's in that relationship. You know, do what you want. It's your life. But see, but I think me that only, I think that only mm -hmm. works though when everyone knows their role. That's where it gets crazy because I know some women, well, most women, mm -hmm. well, all the women I know, they're like emotional. Women are emotional. We're emotional creatures. We, we don't really, like we think, but we think with our hearts and that's where it gets really bad. Like I know me personally, I think with my heart and well, sometimes, sometimes I don't think of my heart. I, I just be just whatever comes, it's like word vomit just comes out. But I, most women, they think with their hearts when it's about, a, you know, a certain situation, a touchy situation like that they're gonna like feel some type of way because i know personally one of the other reasons why i couldn't be excuse me why i couldn't be in a relationship like that is because you go to the mall right and there's nordstrom's there's q fashion and there's um the gucci store you're not about to take her to the gucci store and take me to q fashion and expect me not to feel See, no type in that way. face you can't worry about their that's their relationship no paul is all three yeah all y'all together yeah but it don't matter where he take her as long as he gets you something too hell no facts facts as long as he gets you something too that's all that matters no because you could say oh i got her a gucci bag but i bought you a popsicle we could but are, are we being grateful here we've been ungrateful oh hell no see, <laughs> mm, <laughs> see mm, this is I'm not just... gonna work no, I'm not, this I'm not. turned into a whole little conversation. This is supposed to be a truth or drink. So this video is getting kind of long. Let's do one more question for each. So you ask me a question and then I'll ask you a question. Mm -hmm. So okay. what's your question? What's the meanest thing you've ever said to somebody? <gasps> oh my God. I can be really mean. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see how honest you're going to be with this. I can <laughs> be really mean. I think the meanest thing I ever said to someone and the sad thing about it is when I say it I don't be thinking it's mean somebody has to say it back to me to realize like damn bitch you fucked up like you didn't have to say that but in the in the moment before I give my answer I would like to explain myself yeah go ahead, go ahead. in the moment this is actually very very good right in the moment I'm not thinking like oh so the question is what's the meanest thing I ever said to someone <laughs> right. hey, you know what I'm waiting on the answer to this one in the moment I'm not thinking like this is mean I'm thinking you're making me mad so I'm gonna say something that's what I'm thinking yeah, you're, going the the meanest thing? you're going for the kill shot yeah. I think the meanest thing I ever said to someone is like 
I hope you die. Oh, Who'd you say that to? My damn drink got strong. But huh? let me tell you why I said that. That's fucked up. It is. I was getting bullied in the in middle school, and um, they would like, cause my nose is big, and they would always like call me like it dinosaur. Is? <laughs> <laughs> they would always call me like dinosaur. They would like put little things in my locker, pictures of like they would go, they would take the time out to go to the library to print out pictures of dinosaurs to put it in my locker. Like that's so dinosaurs mean. Have noses? That's what, di they don't even. I mean, they have noses, but they used to call me T Rex. Like the kids are ruthless. They're so mean, and it's it's crazy because those same those same niggas are in my DMs now. That's the funny part. Hey, y'all niggas better stay away. We carry guns right here. Now that that's the funny part. I'm talking about you still with your nigga? Yes. Guns still shoot too. Yes. Anyways, so yeah, that's the meanest thing I said. I think that's the meanest thing I've said. I don't know. I, I can say some mean shit. Oh, fast, Back fast. in middle school, mm -hmm. girl, in middle school I was wishing death upon people, and now I'm just I repent it because that's you should never wish death upon anybody. That is the meanest thing. But you know what? Someone wished death upon me. Nah. This guy, he was like, um, I hope you have a seizure and die. Well, a couple people said that to me. What? Two people, like three people. One person is, um, it don't matter. They said that, but we're, yeah. One person said that, right, and then right it's over. And then another person who said that is Terrence's sister, not Vanessa. Um, yes. Oh. Yeah, she said that to me. She felt like I was taking her brother away. Girl, that's. Anyway, so yeah, she said that. She was like, "I hope you have a seizure and die," because I wouldn't let her take a shower here. Ruthless. Like, I don't even like you. You don't like me. Why would I let you take a shower at my house? Yes. What? I, I definitely you probably be, could be planning my death in the shower. You think I'm stupid? I'm gonna let you in my house? Crazy. And then <laughs> someone else was death upon me. I don't remember, but what would I be doing to these people? Nothing. So Nothing. you're saying people just be coming after you? Yes, I'm the victim. So they just be coming for you? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Mm. Like with that I really did nothing with the other situation it was like some family beef and like he was trying to protect his like his friend who is like family to him but it's really his friend that they're, they're not like they're not they're not blood related mm -hmm. um but they're really close and who said that because i didn't say that i not you <laughs> it's not you <laughs> said they won't be it's on my mom's side um yeah they that, was, that hurts yeah that was that <laughs> but yeah, you know cool. after that's i said cool. that in middle school it got turned back on me twice <laughs> so don't tell nobody don't tell nobody you hope they die yeah that's really mean don't say that guys my friend oh my god my it's friend rihanna every time she breaks up with somebody she'd be like i hope they die i want them to just because that's how she feels like she'll get she'll get over somebody if they die Damn. i'm like girl stop saying that and you know what um my uh don't i don't know don't need to be said okay oh that was my question oh what should my last question be? Oh, no, make it something interesting. Um. What's your craziest sneaky link? Ooh. What's your craziest sneaky? Ooh. I want details. Okay, look. So, this like, oh Lord, forgive me. Oh. Uh, this like 2018, I want to say. Look, so I ain't gonna say no Weren't name. Were you with? Yeah. Oh. I was dog moment, dog moment. <laughs> Alright, look, so um He's like, hold on, let me sit up for this one. One night I was working. I used to work overnight and um my ex hit my phone and was like, Yeah, you know, like I wonder if you still got it like you used to, you know, woo dee woo, you know, saying the right stuff. So I'm like, yo, like I'm Jay. These like are weird. I hope you, you know still got it. Who really how old is you? You know, I, I can't say exactly what she said. You know, on camera, but you know, I gotta paraphrase. Uh, okay, gotta paraphrase. Okay. Anyway, so I'm like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I do it like I used to, you know? And, um, <laughs> do it like it's my B day. Do it like it's my B day. So then she was like, prove it. <gasps> I said, say less. But see, here's Hell. the Hell. But here's, here's the trip part, though. She don't live out here. Oh, I remember this. You drove all the way to a different state. It was, it was Arizona. Yes. He drove all the way to a different state for some. 
Look. Like. Look. So I get there. Like, has a whole girlfriend in the state of California, Arizona. I, Man. Arizona. Hey, he hey, took look. a greyhound. I remember this. Let me tell you. It's was it worth it? That's what I got. That's what I got. It wasn't worth it. Look, I got there. Like, <laughs> let me tell you. Let me tell you. I got off work at like three something. Three? I got to the bus station like three thirty, and I got there like Six. like nine. Oh, 10. I'm tripping you. Yeah. Because the bus didn't leave to like four. Oh, that's annoying. You got wasted. So, there. yeah. Hurry, the battery's about to die. So, anyway, look, I get there and um, I link up with her. And the sex was bad. Uh, it was okay. You know. It was bad. Okay, guys. Video's about to. My camera's about to die. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see more videos with me and Big Fella, aka. Well, his name is Jaheem, but aka Big Fella. Let me know. Comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Bye.